I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Mexican contemporary mural. I'm going to take three fingers over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little straight line going towards the left, slightly curved line, little curved line up, and connect. Right here at the dot I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five curve lines connect. I come down here at this point and I draw one, two, three, four, five, six curve lines again. Starting right about here at this point, I draw a big curve line in, curve line out, curve line down, curve line up, and connect. I come back to this point and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, big curve line at the bottom, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside this space, I'm just going to draw slightly curved line up, down, over, in, down, up, till it crashes into that. Then down here at the bottom, I'm just going to draw slightly wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right. Up here in this corner, I'm just going to draw a wavy line out, down, up, Connect and right here. I'm going to draw a wavy line out down Connect This is a fake map meaning that it kind of looks like the world, but not really I'm going to draw curve lines jump over curve lines curve lines down and Connect and I will explain all of this once we get done Inside each one of these spaces, I draw a curve line, curve line connect, curve line, curve line connect, curve line, curve line connect, curve line, curve line connect. Now this side, curve line inside, curve line connect. You're following the shapes that we just drew, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line, big curve line at the bottom, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. Okay. Now, we are going to be doing some overlaps, but before I do that, I want to make sure I have room for all my characters. So I come down here on the lower right, and I draw a big curve line up, over, and down, inside. I draw a curve line up, down, connect, right next to it, curve line up, down, connect. I come inside and I draw a little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. I'm going to fill this space in so I don't forget. So I'm using my black and I'm filling this space in and now I do the right, fill this space in. There's going to be a lot going on in this mural, so get ready. Then I draw straight lines on the left, straight lines on the right. Right up here in the center, I just go wavy line out, in, out, in, off the page on the left. Wavy line out, in, out, in, out, in, off the page. Okay. I come up. And I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot I draw a curve line in, curve line out. I'm going to draw it again, curve line in, curve line out. 
come back to the dot and I'm going to draw curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag going down, curve line up, connect. I'm going to draw a baby circle and a dot. Come right above it, we're going to do it again. Put a dot, we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line down, draw it again, curve line in, curve line out, connect. Come right to the top and draw a big curve line up, zigzag, zigzag, curve line down, over, connect. Baby circle and a dot. Okay. Now I am going to come up here. I want to make sure I get all my images in. And I'm just going to put a dot. I'm going to draw curve line, connect, curve line down. Curve line up, connect, on the right, big curve line out, spiral, big curve line, connect, on the left, big curve line out, spiral, come back up, big curve line, connect. Starting right at this point, we're going to draw a curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line down, come back up, curve line, Curve line out, curve line down, connect. Now come over here on this side, we're just going to draw a curve line down, up, connect, and on this side, curve line down, bam, it crashes into that. Don't draw through your drawing. Come inside and we can draw a curve line, curve line, connect on the left, curve line, curve line, connect on the right, little curve line up down, connect, and if you can fit one in, little curve line, curve line. Okay. Now we are going to start up here at the corner, put a dot, draw a baby circle, inside the baby circle, draw a spiral. Starting over here, just draw me curve line, curve line, curve line, off the page, Come inside and mimic those lines. Curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect. Now we come down a little bit, put your dot, draw a baby circle, draw a spiral inside. We're going to connect, curve line up to that one, jump over, curve line down. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, bam, it crashes into that, that's okay, jump over, add a curve line at the top. Come inside, no, 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 I lied. Let's add another one, just draw a curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Baby circle, here's your spiral, we're always going to have that. Now come in and draw inside, if you have room, if you don't, it's okay. Inside, connect this space. Now come down, put a dot, baby circle, spiral, and now we're going to draw curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, Connect. These are overlaps. Curve line out, in, out, up, out, in, out, in, connect. And let's put one more right here. Put a dot, baby circle, spiral inside, big curve line out, connect. Out, connect, connect, curve line out, up, out, up, out, up, connect, come inside, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, connect, connect. I think that's all. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, you know how I am. I always forget something. Come back over here on the upper right. Curve line inside this space. 
baby circle, baby circle, dot, dot. All right, when you draw a mural and you're doing it stylistically like you would in Mexico, the main thing you have to think about is color and the density of what you've drawn. So that's why these are not what I would call <coughs> del excuse me, delicate drawings. These are pretty dense. So the first thing I'm going to do is think of every tropical color combination I can to color in this whole mural. So I'm going to start over here with my hand that's holding the earth and I'm going to use my green. These represent feathers. I'm going to do these yellow. Now this mural, because it is for today, is focused on the environment. So we have a hand issuing from feathers holding the earth, which we are supposed to take care of, but so far we haven't done so well. Okay. Now, this is a fake world map. It gives you the illusion of the continents and the oceans. So the, the uh, part that is supposed to be the continents, I'm going to color this brown just so you get the illusion of this being an actual map. And then on the inside, I'm going to take my blue-green. Remember, like I said, we're talking tropical here. It is Mexico. And we're going to color everything in between our longitude, latitude lines. Blue-green. Okay? Then, the other thing that lets you know that this is a Mexican motif. All of these outside decorations, we're going to do red and we're going to do green. My suggestion, this if this is a big project, I would break it into three sessions. Session one would be drawing, which we just did. Session two would be coloring. Because you really want the colors to be intense and you really want to take your time figuring out what you want to combine. So you don't want to rush it. So I did my outside red and I'm doing the inside green all the way around. The other thing is, is that you want this mural to be big, oversized, <clears throat> so you might want to use a bigger piece of paper than you normally do. Next. I'm going to come up and do my butterfly, which I included because we've been killing off the butterflies because of pollution. The monarchs are in trouble. So I'm going to make, even though this is not a monarch, it represents all the butterflies. I did that yellow. I'm doing the inside part here. Orange. My head orange. I'm going to use my red violet for my wings. See, and you'll do yours way better. It'll be a much denser color than what I'm doing. So the upper part of the wing, I'm doing red violet. And the bottom part, I'm doing pink. You can choose any color combinations you wish. You can really choose any kind of drawing you wish. This is just a starter to get you going. Okay. Down here at the bottom, this is my crazy guy. This is being astonished at what we have done to our Earth, planet Earth. So I'm doing the inside yellow and giving them some orange hair. Right and left. And I want to make sure that I use balanced colors. So the inside of this space I'm doing pink. The inside of this space I'm doing pink. The outside of this space I'm using my red violet. So I'm going to basically use my red violet as my color that kind of balances everything on my mural. Then I'm going to take it and add some darker lines for this space right here. Then 
I'm going to take that red violet in every place that I have an inset on these overlaps. I'm going to use my red violet. <clears throat> this is again balancing my picture by using the color all the way across. And then I'm going to use my pink to kind of balance it all together. So I've got pink and red violet on the left, pink and red violet in the center, red violet on the edge. This is keeping it all balanced together. So this would be session number two. I would color in all of the objects because session number three you need to color the background and that can be intense. So here's all my main characters colored. I take my blue, regular blue, and I color the background. I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop this so that you can see that I'm coloring the entire background sheet. Now, here's the thing about Mexican murals. Very intense color, contrasting color, so that everything pops. You want it all to pop out at you. Now, a lot of you have seen big murals, Mexican murals with workers, peasants, Day of the Dead, all kinds of content and subject matter. For this one, I'm using the environment as my content. That means that if you wanted to make these all insects on yours, you could. That means if you wanted to add different endangered animals, you could. This is just mine. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my mural all colored in. As you can see, it's very dark, popping against that pink. Okay, bye-bye.